Welcome to this E2E webcast on an impressive application modernization project entitled Recache Next Generation SOA Enablement with the ARIS Bridge. In this webcast, we're going to hear from Diego Zanini, who leads the project management office at Intrum Justitia. I am your host for today. My name is Chris Hen, and I'm in charge of business development and marketing at E2E. With 90,000 customers and almost 3,000 employees in 24 markets, Intrum is the European leader in credit management services. For its legacy core financial application, Intrum has gone through a complete application modernization effort in less than nine months, achieving a six-fold increase in process performance along the way. What makes this effort unique worldwide is the end-to-end -end exclusive use of executable models to perform the application cleanup and modernization, from planning into application design, implementation, deployment and operations. IT opinion leaders around the world believe this case to be the first of its kind, using just over 1,000 executable UML models and no code or code generation at all, without any tool break along the entire software lifecycle. This unique process-to-application approach is made possible by using the ARIS platform from Ideas Share together with the E2E Bridge, a product combination which goes by the name of ARIS Bridge Integration. The E2E Bridge provides a UML virtual machine as a runtime container which can directly execute UML as well as BPMN and EPC models that are imported from ARIS. There is no need for coding or code generation. The models are directly executed as UML bytecode. Of particular interest with respect to the interim application is the fact that model execution is used at all levels, including for long-running process execution, service orchestration, event processing, business logic and backend integration. So from an infrastructure perspective, the E2E bridge works as a process engine, an enterprise service bus and an application runtime combined in one. We won't go into the technical details of the E2E Bridge or the ARIS Bridge integration here. If you are interested in more information about these topics, you will find technical white papers and online demonstrations about these on E2E's homepage at e2ebridge.com. And now it is my privilege to invite Diego Zanini from Interim Justitia to share more details regarding this impressive legacy transformation project. Diego is head of the project management office and process manager at Intrum Justitia, and in this role, he was instrumental in introducing business process management at Intrum. Diego has a dual educational background, both in finance administration and IT. With the Recash Transformation Project, Diego and his colleagues have created a global reference for successful business IT alignment. Diego, over to you. Hello everybody and welcome from my side. It's going to be a pleasure to take you on to the journey that we have lived through at Interim starting not too long ago with a complex situation as I'm sure will sound familiar to many organizations out there. But before I begin to describe that journey let me just say a couple of words about Interim Justitia as a company. Intrum is a financial services firm and our business is about everything related to credit management where we cover every stage of these services. From credit management and invoicing through sales and ledger services, reminders and collection to debt surveillance and collection of written off receivables. We also work with purchase debt and specialized services related to credit management. Intrum was founded in Sweden in 1923 and today we have close to 3000 employees. We serve 90,000 clients in 24 markets, which makes us the number one in Europe. In some markets we have quite a dominant position, for example in Switzerland, where we have about 70% market share. You only get to such a dominant position through differentiation, and IT plays a major role to maintain a constant lead over the competition. This is also the reason why we started a while ago to develop our core application in-house. The application is called Recache and it was completely written in PLCQL using Oracle Forms 6i. In the 10 years since the beginning, Recache has given us the flexibility to respond quickly to new needs in the market. But as you might guess, over the years Recache has become a lot more complex to handle. New functionality was permanently added based on short-term tactical business needs and implementation was always performed under a lot of time pressure. As a result, the business logic ended up in every place you could think of, including the Oracle Forms client, database procedures and even table triggers. The constant time pressure made it hard to do things properly, so we ended up with multiple implementations of the same functionality, which were not always doing the same. 
You can imagine that the impact analysis for new change requests became nearly impossible and it was becoming more and more difficult to avoid the risk of side effects. Last but not least, we were required to adapt to recache constantly based on the needs of individual countries, leading to immense complexity and a huge backlog of change requests. Something had to be done. So we started in 2004 to think about a serious redesign of Recache, essentially to create a future proof foundation that would allow us to support business in a flexible way without having to sacrifice quality. The highest priority was on the finance application and the strategy was to keep the original client and backend technology, but clean up the application so that we could later replace the individual components. What we came up with was the design of a state-of-the-art service-oriented architecture, or so we thought. Because once we had the architectural design, we realized that yet again we had started with a fairly IT-centric view of the world, and it was quickly becoming clear that by proceeding this way we would not be successful. What we really needed was a way to directly involve business in the entire redesign, and find a way to align business with IT before moving on. It was really key to define this as a business project and not just as a technical re-engineering of an application. That's a lot easier said than done, and I'm sure this is a challenge which most organizations are facing right now. When I look at the business IT interactions we had at the time, I must confess that by 2004 all we really had was a ticketing system to track functional requirements and that's it. This was certainly useful to gain a better understanding of the overall workload, but it was a very tactical approach to maintain the business IT dialogue. New requests were typically vague, leaving too much room for interpretation. And at the end of the day, IT did not really develop a clear understanding of the process that had to be supported. It was clear that we had to change our overall approach as a company in terms of how business and IT worked together.